Welcome to a brand new Phil game. Today we're playing Phil in Love, to believe another spin-off in the Phil series. Um, I don't know, I don't know much about it, I don't have much to say, so let's just go. I'm um, assuming top one's always new game. So, what? Oh, well, that's new. Uh, this game is rated 18 plus, apparently. Um, okay, who knows, who knows, Phil in Love, we'll see where this goes, but, uh, I'll treat, treat this as your warning, viewers, as well. Uh, yeah. If you're 18, watch this. If you're not, uh, don't watch this. Let's go. My life is perfect. Or, at least, it feels that way. The sun is high overhead, warming the breeze that floats down the street with us. I've got the whole summer ahead and a beautiful girl next to me. I squeeze her hand as I think about it. So, are we, are we Phil? I, I don't know. Who are we? There is no Phil so far in this Phil game. Then again, this is the third, third line. Maybe I'm putting too much pressure on it. She looks up at me as we come to a stop in front of an alley. See you tonight? Psst. Ah, we're John. Okay. Sounds good. I'll walk over on 7, and then we can drive to dinner. She glances at her watch. Uh, is, is that a new one? Yep, look. She smiles and twists her wrist around to show me, which I grab to keep steady. What's special about this one? It looks cool. Wait, something's different. Yeah, it's 24 hour face. I found it in a new shop yesterday. Okay. See, normally when I'm playing a Phil game, I can, like, talk. You know? There's these breaks, but this, if this is solely text-based, as it's looking, then I don't know how much commentary I'll be able to add. Then again, does anyone watch the videos for my commentary? I hope so. I mean, that's why I do them, because I think I'm funny. But, uh, whatever. That's pretty cool. I'm glad you could finally get something new. I spin her towards towards me, and then rest, rest my wrists on her shoulders. She grabs my waist to balance herself. Rest, wrists, waists. Every time I look at her face, I can't believe that such a beautiful girl wants to be with me. I expected nothing when I asked her out. But she said yes, and I've been thrilled ever since. I pulled her into a hug and feel her hug back. It would be nice to continue holding her, but I do need to go. I loosen my grip, but she doesn't. Wait. I, I need to say it. I hug her again and look into her eyes. Sue Naomi, I love you. She smiles and lets go. I, lo I love you too. Well, this is nice. I lean down to kiss her forehead as we let go. See you soon. See you! I turn and walk down the alley to head to my house. Halfway down, I look back just in time to see Sue Naomi disappear as the corner of the building moves between us. Nice. I face forward again, expecting to see the flat gray wall of whatever building I'm next to. There are lots of flat gray walls here. Hard hitting stuff. I do, but then I see a light burst out of it. Well, that's, uh, that looks vag vaguely familiar. The formerly featureless wall now has a swirling white and yellow plane blocking the door. Strangely, there's no sound. Is there a touch? We're not going support. Yeah, just, just, just touch the mystery thing. That's fine, you know, that wouldn't... I mean, that's the plot, I assume. He's a, he's a real genius here. As soon as my finger hits the glow, the sound I was missing before thunders around my ears. The vortex is almost loud enough to hurt as the swirl expands to fill my whole vision. And then I see nothing. I unmuted just in time for you to hear me drop my cup back on the coaster. Good. Well, this is pretty, and also vaguely familiar. As the flash slowly fades from my eyes, I remain as still as possible to stay on my feet. Whoa. It's beautiful. I'm standing on grass, a few feet behind a wooden fence. Beyond that fence is the prettiest vista I've ever seen. Why am I convinced it's pronounced vista? 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 I don't know. A cool breeze picks up, briefly turning into a sharp wind. I may be underdressed in a summer version of my school uniform. Yeah, we're in, like, Alaska, right? That's where this is set. Yeah. Cool. Looking for any shelter, I turn around, noticing a house to my left. 
A forest was to my back, and between it and me, a dirt path, path cuts through the grass. I could follow the path in either direction, or I could approach the house. It doesn't look very public, or maybe they could help me. Maybe tell me where I am. Okay, so we got a choice. We got a path, we got a house. I mean, you can approach the house, and then follow the path. So, it's probably the direction I want to look at? Yeah, let's approach the house. Huh. I approach the house, step onto the porch, and knock on the door. It opens, and a man sticks his head out. He looks to both sides, and then fully steps out of the door, closing it behind him. C can you help me? I don't know where I am. You're in Alaska. I can tell you that. I don't know the rest of it, but who knows. You're not planning on going into the forest, are you? There are aliens in there. Oh no, I, do I have a voice file for this guy? Let's find out. Aliens in there, man. Normal voice. Slightly more augmented. That's some real glad I loaded that up. There are aliens in there. What? Where, where should I go instead? And where am I now? You're not planning on going to the forest, are you? There are aliens in there. Another sharp burst of wind blew through. May I come in? It's, it's cold out here. You're not planning on going to the forest, are you? There are aliens in there. Maybe it's best that I don't go into this man's house. I guess I'll have to brave the forest and the aliens that are definitely in there. I back up from the man and walk back to the path, keeping my front to the house. The man continues to stare at me. You're not planning on going to the forest, are you? There are aliens in there. I mean, are we just following the path to fill? The fill the path that it takes in the game? I could just do that into the forest. Or do I wanna? Yeah, let's do it. Into the forest. I turn left on the path and quickly step into the forest. Ah. We're in the forest. <laughs> After a couple of minutes walking between some bushes, past some trees and fallen logs, the bushes open up a little bit. The area isn't square enough to be a clearing, but it is a more open space. The bushes block the path in front of me with an opening to my right. I don't remember this part. I remember there is this part of the game, but I don't remember the layout, so I assume it's being followed, but I really don't know. I don't see any option forward besides turning right, so I do. Ah! 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 A creature jumps out in front of me. I guess there, there are aliens in here. Yeah. And this one's pointing a gun at me. Alright, tutorial boss, I guess. Ah, I'm not looking to fade their voice. It swings its free hand at me. I jump back, avoiding the strike. I need to get out of here, but it's blocking the only way forward. I would just have to push through some bushes and hope. Okay, fight or escape. I guess he doesn't have any special items. Let's, uh, let's fight. Let's fight. I've never fought anyone before, especially nothing like this. But I have to see what I can do. I'd attack. <coughs> I swing both fists forward. One connects to the side of the creature's head before slipping off, while the other slams into its suit. I immediately retract that hand, shaking it to dispel the pain and tingling. The alien does not seem to be bothered. Cool. It fires its gun. The laser bolt strikes me directly in the chest. We're doing well. We're doing well. Ow. Ow. My chest is on fire. Is it literally burning? I look down. Not on fire. There's a charred hole in my shirt with a burned and bleeding crater. Ow. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's bad. Uh, feels like one more shot would kill me. Since the other attack did nothing, it's probably best that we escape. I don't need the death ending. Why did I think I could fist fight an alien with a spacesuit and a laser gun? I need to get out of here. I turn, on, I turn and run, fueled by the pain in my chest. My last glance at the alien shows it making no attempt to pursue or even shoot me. When I reach the bush wall, I shove myself into it and keep pushing. I'm holding my hands in front of my face with my arms over my chest, feeling scratches grow on any exposed skin. And then I'm through. And now I really don't know where I am. I had no choice but to continue pushing through trees and overgrown plant life. Every minute I feel my energy slipping away. Is this the same song? Yeah, it sounds like it. I start to stumble. First I tripped on a root, then just on the ground itself. It must have been at least ten minutes, but I don't think that I can stop. 
First it was to get away from the alien, and now it's because I need help. I need to find something. Five minutes later, I trip again. I almost can't get up, but I have to. Yeah, that's hurting a lot, I can imagine. I assume it's hurting a lot. I'm not me. I'm not the John guy. What a name that fits in the Thor universe. John. And then, as my vision refocuses, I finally see signs of something. There's a building! I'll just have to hope. No building has helped me so far, but maybe this one is different. Mm, sample size of one. I force myself forward. Another step. And another. My vision blurs again. I can barely make out where the door is. I approach where I think it is. I feel its wood underneath my finger. I push. It opens! I take one more step and collapse onto the floor. It's carpeted. Help. I can't see, but I don't feel any footsteps. I guess this is the end after all. I feel the darkness coming on, and I can't push back anymore. I'm done. Took a drink. Am I done? Is this it? Gotta be more. Okay, yeah, there's more. That seemed that seemed anticlimactic. I mean, well, maybe maybe the answer was you just escape the whole time, but okay. The first thing I feel is that I'm laying on something hard. I see a wooden roof above me. It's really boring to look at. I'll have you know, roofs can be very interesting to look at. Just gonna put that out there. Hey, check out my other videos. They're cool. I'm cool. Roofs are cool. Anyway. I turn my head to look at the rest of the room. I'm not alone. Next to me is something. Or someone. Oh, hey, I know that guy. Hello. Uh, well, let's, let's respond and talk to him. Uh, hello? Who are you? My name is Phil. Friendly interactive life bot. Cool guy. So, you're a robot? We're better than that. We have souls. Well, I'm assuming that's Surge, because of the red, and he would, you know, it makes sense that he was here. And there he is! I'm just that good at this game. I turn my head to the new voice, seeing another life bot. I assume he's assuming it's a life bot. With a similar design as Phil. This is Surge. And behind you is Sam. Hello, Sam. Behind me is a smaller blue life bot. He? I think he's he. Is looking at a screen that's connected to wires that first touch the floor, and then are lifted up to a machine that's above me, just behind my head. Is that, is that this thing? Or is that just a light? I can't tell. Ha ha! I sit up to get a better look at the machine. Ow. Ease, yeah. I still hurt, but not as much as before. I look down on my chest. My shirt's been repaired and cleaned perfectly but I glance under it and see that the wound looks untended to. That's real priorities. Did you guys do this? Yup, it was easy. But what about the rest of me? His smile dropped a little. We don't work with people. Huh. Plus, your body's weird. That's why we're here. We were sent to investigate some strange signals that were interfering with all the Doc's instruments. They're all coming from you. Why? Well, we don't, we don't know. Where have you been recently? Well, let's tell him. Maybe you can help us out. I assume. Tell him. Don't tell him. Tell him. I was just walking home, and then a portal appeared, and I touched it. Where, where was it? On the wall. Ha. Yeah. Funny, though. I like it. Oh, sorry. I live in Totoko, so it's there. Do either of you two know that place? Or should I know? I guess that means you don't. Uh -huh. I'm having an idea. You might be from a new dimension. You don't match any of the ones we know, and all the energy signatures that we're picking up here are all new. I mean, I guess that makes sense. All the, all the art before was, like, not fill art, and now we're seeing fill art. So, I mean, that, I buy it. I don't know if John will buy it. I buy what's going on here. Whoa. I didn't think that other dimensions were possible. And now these guys are talking about multiple different ones? Well, once you feel better, you can come with us to see the docks. There are plenty of questions, too. Wait. I want to see, see his dimension. If he doesn't have us, we'll be the coolest folks around. Yeah, bring him to the real world. That's cool. Actually, it would be cool. 
life pods would be cool. Well, you know. Well, then, no, then you get into robot soul questions and the ethics and then the people. Yeah, no, society doesn't need this right now, actually, I changed my mind. We can probably do both. With time, we'll figure out how to get there. The door ended in another life bot, I assume. Ended. Ah, Shelly! We've got the gangs all here. Whoa. Do you guys feel that? No? As soon as I entered the room, I got a new feeling. This is weird. I don't feel anything, Shelly. I feel great! That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. 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 Can I talk to you guys in the hall? She leaves, and Surgeon and Sam start to jet out of the room with their rockets. They don't jet with their jets? Come on. Phil starts to move around, but he looks back at me. Okay, do we let him go? Or do we just keep him here? I think... I mean, it would be probably good to let the team, but also... I mean, fill in love. We're playing a dating game, right? We gotta, we gotta, we gotta pick someone to go with. I mean, I hope we'll I assume we'll meet all the other characters. Is this a fill or not fill? I don't know. But for the first episode, let's let's pursue Phil for the first episode, and then if there are other routes, other endings, we'll go check those out later. So, I assume that's what's happening. Go ahead, stay with me, or maybe it's the opposite because who knows what these choices actually mean. I don't really want to be alone right now. And I want to keep talking with Phil. I was enjoying our conversation. I'm fascinated by the construction of the life bots. Such a combination of straight lines and perfect spheres. S to stay here. Phil looks at his team and then back to me. I, I, I have to go, but I'll come back. It seems like I can't stop him. Alright. Well, maybe we showed him something, I don't know. He leaves the room, and then I'm alone on the bed with only the ache in my chest for company. Another... Another dimension? Really? I suppose it would make sense why things are why things are so different here. I didn't notice anything. I didn't. Yeah, I can't talk. I didn't notice anything at the time. But when I think back to everything I've seen in this world, everything has just been a little off. Let me take a quick drink. Much better. How am I gonna get home? Or how am I gonna? How am I going to get home? Phil seems confident that they'll be able to figure it out, but who knows how long that'll take. I have a date tonight. That's important. Right? Oh. I find myself struggling to focus on Sue Naomi. There's so many new things here, and I want to learn about them as well. Well, he obviously wants to... get up and explore. Um... No, should he just chill? I mean, he's hurt, but also... I don't know. Let's just do it. Maybe we run into the guys. Maybe we run into new people. Generally, going out is cool. So let's do that. I swing my legs off of the bed and push myself up onto them. I can't even get balanced on my feet before I'm falling over my front onto the ground. And I guess that's the other option. Ow. I try to get up, but the familiar feeling of fading away is coming back. Let me just get back onto the bed. Again. Come on, dude. I wake up in pain in the panic. Where am I? The sight of Phil next to the bed calms me down. Okay. We're here. Right. I'm in our lab or some hospital. I really I really don't know. But I'm remember I'm remembering the room I was in before. Yeah, with the boring roof. I look behind me to see if Sam is back at his station. He is not. Hey, you took a little fall. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I went. Maybe I went a bit fast. I think. Okay, well, if he wasn't medically cool to walk, maybe I shouldn't have had him leave. But whatever. Yep. We stabilized you again. We've also found some new conclusions from your signals. The good news is, is that you almost phase out of this dimension right after falling. We're estimating that you'll likely return home soon, within the hour. I haven't been happy enough, my fellow boys. Ever. The bad news. Happy. The bad news? The bad news is that you don't have much longer than that to live. Oh. An hour and a half, maybe? Would that be enough time to get fixed in your dimension? Whoa. I'm struggling to think straight. Thirty minutes to find a hospital after getting home? Assuming I land in the same alley, there's no way. It's a fifteen minute walk, and then explaining what happened? 
It's a long shot. I mean, if you walk in with a bloody chest, I'll fix you up. But, yeah, later it might be an issue. I don't know. Phil frowns. He is very much still smiling. That settles it. We have to get you to the docks. They're our best hope. Can you stand? He must know that I just tried. But it doesn't look like I have a choice. I move much slower this time, being careful to not overwhelm my legs. I set them both on the floor and slowly add weight. I push myself off of the bed, again at a much slower rate. I keep a hand out for balance, and then I feel something cool touch it. Phil has drifted himself under my hand, keeping it on his shoulder, if that's what it is, and supports my weight with his rockets. Oh? Some physical contact here? Am I reading into things? I might be reading into things. In this position, he slowly helps me stand up. The perfectly smooth metal under my hand is so alluring. I wish I had time to keep feeling it. Okay, maybe I wasn't reading into things. Once I'm fully standing, I try to balance on my own and take a few steps. I manage to wobble for a few steps, but then stumble. I almost hit the ground, but then something grabs my arm and lifts me back up. Another quick drink. I have not been talking that much. <gasps> I look to see arms extending from Phil's rocket limbs, one of which is holding my arm. He has arms, we know that from the trailer. He then guides me over to the desk in the corner. I manage to struggle into the seat for a brief rest. Phil hovers and looks at me, his eyes right at my eye level. He keeps a hand on my shoulder to steady me. There's one more thing that we've discovered. I look back into his eyes. <gasps> they look blank white, but I'm almost seeing something else in them. What, what, is, what is it? The effect that we're measuring off of you. I feel a strange sensation in my stomach. It's ever so slightly familiar. Is this, is it pain? Might be pain. Phil rests his other hand on my arm that's resting on the desk. What about it? I, I, I okay. It, it leads to this. Phil moves towards me and I feel the sphere of his head press into my face. Okay. Something's off. Well, two options here, I'm seeing. Um, I mean, I said we're gonna do it, right? Come on, we, we gotta, we push him away, that can't work. We gotta, we gotta go for it, right? <laughs> What's wrong is that I'm not kissing him back. To fix it, I angle my head up a bit so my lips reach his. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am. Well. At least I think my lips are touching his. It's too smooth for me to tell. But honestly, I don't mind. This feels right. Are my signals affecting me as well? Make me want him back? I don't care. It doesn't matter why I'm feeling this way. I need him. With an urgency I don't think I've ever felt before. Phil doesn't... Phil doesn't have any clothes for me to remove. So I just have to take mine off. Okay. My, uh, I, 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 here we are, I guess I chose, did I want this? I guess I did. My shirt is easy enough to remove, even with me being careful to avoid brushing against my wounds. I hope I don't pass out again from the blood loss. Right now, it feels like I have enough. Well. I'm glad he has enough blood. Uh, I, I... I can't show this on YouTube. He's, I, I don't even think I can describe it. He's, um, yeah. I'll just let you guys imagine. Cause, uh, yeah. Let's go, I guess. Uh, I un... Sam the air. I look still over. Can I 
In response to my unspoken question, Phil on his with He has other attach attachments, implements, arms, limbs, something. I've never but I like it's a little different when I run my finger over it and place my could if he has one. Okay. I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry if this is uh, not what you expected. It's not what I expected. Um, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm obviously I'm blocking the screen right now. I can't. I can't show you this. Um, I'll probably have to block my voice as well. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how I feel when I'm editing the block in. I feeling that it's I am in your head. John says, Are you ready? Phil says, Yup. Yup. Yup, gosh. The whole reason the reason the background's white is because it's just it's all core. It's a giant core. I him. Oh, oh, he's moaning in pleasure. Oh. I've never felt anything better than this. It's the closest thing to bliss that exists in any to any dimension. I a few times, just as I could out of it. I'd close my eyes in pleasure, but I opened them again to gaze at his body. It's perfect. The way the cylinders are joined with the sphere, the impossibly straight lines, I'm mesmerized. I'm only distracted by the sight of bell. I really those. The light glistens off, oh, so I hiccup. As he it un I feel the like I need another drink. Just water. I'm a water fan, but uh, yeah. I, I want it though. A drink, like me? Please. He moves. Ah, ha ho, ha ho, I guess supposed to be. I'm not, I'm not making those noises actually. That's what it's supposed to be though. I, I can't think. I can barely think. I've never felt this good before. The flowing entire body. Each of mine lines up with and things that I'm almost overwhelmed. My vision just perhaps oh, maybe it's a metaphor. It's about to be if this continues. I can't last much longer. I hope Phil is feeling as good as I am. I can't live without the end. My vision flashes alternating white and dark. Is this the end? It is for me. I than I ever have before. I hope... I... I... Do I have to read this? I hope Phil's... I'm feeling it... Adding to... And eventually I'm done. Final... Are we done? Can we be done? But as I stop, the flashing lights don't. Well, what's going on? I was breathing hard, but I can't hear my breath clearly anymore. Have I pushed too hard? John dies. The end. Are you okay? I, I don't know where my body is anymore. Everything is spinning, flashing. <sighs> yeah, fade out again. It's happened twice already now. My breathing is now the loudest thing I can hear. Bill says dot dot dot. I can't hear what he's saying. I can't concentrate on anything besides the rush in my ears. I feel myself collapsing onto the floor. I don't think we have time to make it to the docks. This might be the end for me. My final thought as my vision dims away is that this would be a satisfactory end to my life. Is that actually how it ends? We're fading out? Is that... I... Can I clip? Oh my god, that's, that's it. That's Phil in Love. Okay, completion list. 
we have completed the fill hookup. But, uh, looks like there's quite a bit more here. Um, getting a lot of episodes out of me, I guess. Lots of characters to meet. Can probably, uh, real for all fans can name exactly who all of these are without even looking at it. Some kind of vibes, though. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed. Did I enjoy? Maybe. I mean, new Phil game, it can always be a fan of that. Oh, this vibes. I like this. Okay. I mean, I hope you enjoyed. I hope I've made this enjoyable, I guess. But, uh... I, I don't know what I expected with this list on the screen. But, yeah. It's slowing down. Oh, are we gonna end on another wacky credit note? Well... I don't know what else to... Oh, wait. That was a post credit scene. The return? I guess do we return? We're not dead? I guess. The sun is in my eyes. It's so bright. And warm on my face. The concrete ground that I'm laying on is much cooler. It's very cold on my back. But the sun is so warm on my chest. It's so hot. It's like the same song, but not that's cool. I grab my chest. It's hard. It's metal. Quick pats on the rest of my chest confirm it. My entire torso has been replaced with a metal box. I guess this is the best they could do with the time they had. My first thought is that I should hate it, but I don't. Well, that's a change. Before I have the time to process it further, I hear footsteps quickly approaching. I button my shirt as fast as I can. Did he get his clothes back on? I think Phil and they, I think they just put it on. I bet, I bet that's what happened. Soon Naomi comes around the corner. She gasps and runs closer. Are you okay? What happened? So she just sees him lying on the ground. She doesn't see much else. I guess I don't know if she heard the thunder earlier. Has time passed? Well, she's here. Maybe like, time didn't pass? That's why she was still there? I don't know. She reaches her hand out to help me up. I reach to grab it. <laughs> yep. I gag as I drop her hand. My fingers that touched hers are crawling. More drinks. She kneels down and reaches towards me. You okay? I shove myself back and push on her sho push on her shoulder to keep her away. Every muscle wants to pu pull back from touching her, but I force my hand to stay as it shakes. John, what's what's going on? I don't know how to answer her question. What is he all like robot obsessed now? I stare at her, trying to come up with anything. Have I never looked at her closely before? Oh, that's a hit. She's disgusting. Her body is so curved. You know, most people like that. There's too many things on her face. Yeah, he is a robot obsessed. He's robot stuck. And she's so warm under my hand, like a toilet seat. Hmm. I push away as I back up and stand. I can't believe I was ever close to her. My stomach feels sick enough to vomit. Do you have a stomach? When I see how moist her eyes are, I can't hold it back. Bile gurgles out of my mouth and splatters onto the concrete, causing her to rapidly stand up. She tries to step around it towards me. But let's get you home. No. No. I just need to I just need to go. A step back, away from her. I'll come over soon. Just to stay away. I leave the repulsive things and begin stepping to the end of the alley, faster and faster. Don't, don't, Jesus Christ, dude. Don't come over. I can't stand to look at you. I reach the end of the alley and turn down the street. There's a sob behind me, but it only serves to hasten my, hasten my departure. Damn, not a bad burr. As I run, my mind doesn't stop. Anyone I see on the street inspires the same wretching feelings. I can't, st I can't stand the idea of humans. 
rocks, dude. There's no life spots here. Nothing can match their perfection. I'll see if I'll buy some to get there. Can I go back? Uh, I can't go back. My foot catches on a planter and I fall. My knee feels scraped. I want to cut it off. Flesh is disgusting. We're just gonna uh, chill on that, I guess. I can't be flesh. I have to stand on my legs. Human legs that I have to keep. Damn, dude has to keep his legs. I don't stand. How can I? What hope do I have for life? Is this the end? Is this the end of the post credits? Yeah. Well, uh, that's fill in love, I guess. I don't even, I gotta stop it. I just gotta think. Um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed, question mark? Um, I mean, I enjoyed, I'll, be, I'll come back. I'll, I'll do the other routes. You might be here for a while. Of course, if they all end up in the exact same way, well, we'll see what happens. But for now, for now, we're gonna call this episode here. Uh, whew, thoughts on this? What I've seen so far, how this ranks with the other Phil games? Oh, I don't even know. I don't have that memorized. Um, but yeah. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Um, feel well, as always. Oh, there goes the music.